love him or hate him, you can't deny the absurd success, fame, and fortune of Justin Bieber. When the young pop star was just 18 years old, he forked out $6.5 million for a property in a gated Calabasas community. From there, the houses added to his diamond-dazzled portfolio only got bigger, fancier, and way, way more expensive. But hey, when you're up to your eyeballs in cold, hard cash, then you can afford to splurge a little. Try to restrain your jealousy as we take you on a tour of the wildly wealthy mansions that Justin has called home. Our real estate journey kicks off in the celebrity hotspot, that's right, Tinseltown. Despite being a born and bred Canadian, Justin has found himself in hot properties around Los Angeles time and time again. None of his cribs, however, have been as well documented as the one-of-a-kind salad spinner house. It's not hard to see where the name comes from. Jokes aside, this glass galore property is as exquisite as it gets. The 7,500 square foot house is nearly completely transparent, made up of circular walls of glass. This welcomes stunning views of both the city and the ocean, depending on which way you look. Found on Loma Linda Drive, which is right here, the Glass Palace features six bedrooms and six and a half bathrooms, and is jam-packed with amenities, elevator, infinity pool, university-style courtyard, and six-car garage, just to name a few. And you can bet that he stocked that garage to the brim with supercars, but we'll take a look at them a little later. Contrary to what many believers assume, Justin never actually owned the salad spinner house, he merely rented it, and only for a couple of months between late 2014 and early 2015, at a price tag of, oh dear, $60,000 per month. That's almost $2,000 per day. Why such a short stay? Who would have guessed that a glass facade would prove a haven for paparazzi? If he did opt to buy it, however, then this property would have been the most expensive darn salad spinner that we've ever seen. It was last available for sale for just shy of $15 million. As much as we'd all love to be able to live in this kind of luxury, the reality is that these mansions are reserved for the rich and famous. In other words, the ones who have cash to burn. Example A, Justin Bieber himself. Quick 20-second rundown of his rise to fame. Go! Talent manager Scooter Braun discovered Justin on YouTube. He signed a record deal the year he turned 14 and moved to LA. He released his first album, My World, in 2014, and the rest is history. He's had his highlights and his lowlights since, including wearing overalls to a meeting with the Canadian Prime Minister, but has undoubtedly soared to superstardom. These days, the singer brings in $80 million per year and is worth close to $265 million, thanks to sold-out tours, endorsement deals, and investments in startups like Spotify and Snapchat. Add now wife Haley Ball went into the mix, who he proposed to with a $200,000 solo and company ring, and they become a true power couple, edging toward a $300 million combined net worth. Lesson time about Justin's rise to fame is over, so now let's circle back to his exquisite properties. Just before moving into the salad spinner, Justin found solace in a $29,500 a month party pad in Lake Hollywood. We've all heard about the singer's wild party side, and this spot was perfect for exactly that. Take a look. It boasts that a private nightclub space, a movie theater, three bars, multiple elevators, jaw-dropping views, and, perhaps most unnecessarily, a glowing replica of the Hollywood sign. The property's music room was even lined with mattresses and referred to as the Boom Boom Room, according to TMZ. The house guests would never be lining up for bathrooms because there was a whopping 18 of them around the property, as well as 10 bedrooms. Even though Justin was renting, the property did go up for sale for a wallet-draining $8.9 million. Seriously though, how much neon is too much neon? All right, so let's get this straight. Neon Mansion followed by Glass House, and then what? Feeling a little more conservative, in relative terms, of course, Justin opted to move into this five-bedroom, six-bathroom mansion in February 2015, located smack bang in the middle of good old Beverly Hills. We all know that the 90210 zip code carries a premium. Heck, the area's median house price is 4.3 million. But this mansion, thanks to its exorbitant features, places it well above average. The 6,000 square foot pad sat on a larger 10,236 square foot piece of land. The asking price, a cool $35,000 per month. Topping off the long list of attractive features were a modern kitchen, four fireplaces, a personal cinema, and a beautiful pool complete with a hot tub and serenity fountain. Come on, who doesn't love a serenity fountain? Not to mention the well-lit, expensive white hallway decorated with eye-popping artwork. Keeping up the trend, this spot also offered exceptional views of the LA skyline. 
Evidently, Justin wasn't really a fan of settling down in one place for too long. By May of 2016, he had already set up new routes in Toluca Lake, the area just north of Hollywood's Universal Studios. As his most expensive property to date, with a staggering monthly commitment of $80,000, Bieber had no qualms going big. That's $960,000 per year. And what does that get you? 13,000 square feet of space, for starters, littered with over-the-top features. We're talking guest house, screening room, 10 bedrooms, 16 bathrooms, game room, and a decked-out gym that would make even Dwayne Johnson proud. The nearby mountains are visible from his property, which sits on the lake. Justin regularly spoke about going rowing or bass fishing, using the water as a place to get the songwriting systems going. Fast forward a few years and Justin, now with Haley on his arm, moved into another Toluca Lake home in October of 2018. This one highlighted by a gourmet kitchen, pool, spa, and dock with two paddle boats. Found here at 9928 Toluca Lake Avenue, the luxury crib also offers five bedroom suites, including an oversized master with a large walk-in closet and its very own spa-like bathroom. The listing agents haven't shared exactly how much the celebrity couple dropped in rent, although TMZ was reporting that it cost the pop sensation nearly $100,000 per month. Damn! Since moving out, the Toluca Lake joint has hit the market for $8,495,000, with an inflated price clearly due to its photogenic position on the water. Honestly though, take one look at this view, and it's hard to argue that it isn't worth every cent. It's not all about California, though. For someone who spends months of the year traveling, there's a recurring need for international accommodation. In typically flashy Justin Bieber style, there's no settling for a run-of-the-mill hotel. He goes all out, putting every single rental house to shame that we have seen thus far. Cast your eye toward this 27,000-square-foot monstrosity over in London. Not London, Ontario, London, England. Wine cellar, outdoor pool, indoor pool, private theater, tennis court, steam room and sauna, and personal gym highlight the extensive list of features on offer. The North London property was built back in 1910 and covers an enormous 24,000 square feet. That's enough room for 15 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, two kitchens, and more dining and living areas than any one person could ever need. Oh, and a standard five-car garage. Not that he'd know how to drive on the left side of the road. So what's the number? Ready for it? $133,000 per month. If you stayed in this place for five years, you'd pay almost $8 million in rent alone. That's insanely expensive, sure, but it's still not the most expensive stay when we consider cost per night. While touring in 2016, Bieber's bus broke down in the middle of Hamilton, Illinois. Rather than a run-of-the-mill Motel 6, he opted for a decked-out Airbnb that costs 10 grand per night. It did come with an arcade room, infinity pool, and a gym, but it's a lot to ask for a small city on the Mississippi River. Worth it? We'll leave that up to you. Seeing a pattern here, Justin's been a renter for most of his life, and fair enough, too. He's relatively young and seemingly wasn't ready to lock down any serious roots. As the years have gone on, he's left his on-the-move lifestyle mostly behind and, in terms of houses, has transitioned over to the purchasing side of things. Following their whirlwind engagement, Justin and Haley have signed on the dotted line for a beautiful West Coast home in, yep, you guessed it, Beverly Hills. They bought this stunning 1930s Monterey Colonial estate for a reported $8.5 million. For that sort of sky-high price, you'd hope that the property would be stuffed to the brim with features, and it is. Five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a sunken family room, and a bright kitchen start things off with a bang. Then comes the beautiful wood-paneled library, the home theater, wet bar, and wine cellar inspired by the famous Beverly Hills Hotel. The backyard is overflowing with greenery, but what makes this house most unique is the front courtyard. A fire pit sits surrounded by olive trees, offering a truly insta-perfect setting. Justin and Haley have shared snaps of their current photo-worthy abode time and time again. Justin's heritage isn't exactly a secret. We all know that he hails from the Great White North. As the saying goes, there's no place like home. And every so often, Justin Bieber heads back to where it all began. He doesn't plan to crash on his mom's couch, though. He's got his very own house. Actually, house is an understatement, because as you're about to see, this thing is a mansion and a half. The singer handed over five million bucks for the jaw-dropping 100-acre property in Wellington County, Ontario. It straddles Puslinch Lake, located just over an hour's drive from downtown Town, Toronto, and it offers a two-story wine cellar, bright kitchen, separate boathouse, incredible views, a bathtub fit for a king, 
a games room, a personal gym, and a built-in theater room. There are four bedrooms and six bathrooms for the power couple to share, and of course, a three-car garage. But which cars does he store there? Good question. He certainly isn't short of options, that's for sure. We won't dive too deep into his car collection, but there's nothing wrong with a little sneak peek. On any given day, the paparazzi have spotted Justin cruising around in a cheetah print $180,000 Audi R8, a $115,000 Range Rover Sport SVR, $200,000 Maybach S600, $240,000 Lamborghini Huracan, and a festively decorated $130,000 Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon, just to name a few. Throw in the cost of the bikes, three-wheelers, and regular chauffeur, and he'd have spent millions of dollars on vehicles and transportation. That's in addition to his tens of millions, maybe even hundreds of millions of dollars spent on housing. If you had money coming out of your ears, where would be your ideal place to call home? Would you add any unique features to your house that we haven't seen yet? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you so much for checking out The Richest. See you next time, and have a great day!